Hi guys, I'm back again after a couple weeks of uh, not uploading any videos, but I basically um, just uploaded a mini episode that is a time-lapse video of me working on a piece that um, I've been doing several uh, versions of. I'm just doing this sort of um, raindrop shape that I feel goes with the coastal and water-based sort of scenario of what I've been developing. Um, I like it because it sort of just ends on an angle or a natural curve and it just tapers off. It doesn't have a lip on it specifically. I've been making a couple of them to play with and develop further. I thought I'd talk a little tiny bit about my work and what uh, what is really behind a lot of what I do. And um, I, I just wanted to sort of give a little bit more information to why I've gone off into this coastal direction and sort of how I see it influencing the work versus not being um, the subject of the work per se. My work is not um, specifically a uh, reproduction of coral or a reproduction of textures in the beach um, uh, landscape. It's basically more along the lines of um, drawing from the textures that I find in nature and being inspired by the beach, seaside, and coastal atmosphere and creating um, vessels and objects um, that are end up being lovely home accents, um, particularly in those environments. But some of the pieces, like my smoother vessels like this, start to go into more contemporary homes as well as traditional homes. Um, so do the textured items as well. I mean, they're really not the kind of thing that you couldn't mix into any environment, but I am particularly geared towards that coastal environment just because of sort of where the work has taken me. I design a piece. I'm not looking at a piece in nature and just replicating it. So a lot of the carving and the uh, line work and the spacing and creating a place for your eye to stop and a place for the piece to continue uh, three-dimensionally is more of a, of, um, a sculptural sort of design focus concept, less of a replication of the sea. And I'm also inspired by textures all over the place. And it's always interesting to see how a texture that I develop on a creamy white clay may come from a tree, but it gives you that same sort of coral um, feeling. And yet it's not really out there in the coral world. However, what's always interesting to me as I'm sort of walking around and checking things out is how I think that it's not in that natural world and then I find it or something like it there and that's just really exciting to me. I'm really intrigued by nature and the fact that we are only reinterpreting. We can never invent anything brand brand new because we can only go by what we're um, exposed to. And I think exposure is everything and traveling is very important. We were up in Woodstock, Rhinebeck and Kingston, New York this weekend with our son. And yet again, you know, totally inspired by the surroundings on our hike and on the tree bark and everything else. And um, I try to bring that back into the studio and I try to bring that out into the work and see where it leads. That for me is the most fulfilling thing. So 
If you guys have any questions or want to see something else demonstrated in a time-lapse video, because that was just um, something I was working on and I figured for my first time-lapse video, I would just zoom it out. So on that note, I'm gonna keep it brief today. Um, it Again, reach out with any questions. Um, I love to share what I'm up to and find out what you guys are up to. And if you have a time-lapse video that you have or are about to create, please share them with me and I will share them with everybody I know as well. I'll see you next time. Thanks.